Hi everyone, my name is Devendra and I'm going to talk about our NeurIPS 2021 paper on self-supervised embodied active learning. Modern computer vision methods leverage huge amounts of internet data to excel at tasks such as segmentation and object detection. Following the success of internet computer vision, there has been a lot of interest in training embodied agents to perform intelligent tasks in the physical world. Perception is an important part of embodied learning as the agent requires a visual understanding of the environment in order to move and interact with the environment efficiently. In fact, computer vision started as a field for robotics. This book from 1986 called Robot Vision consists of some of the most common classical computer vision topics. Although computer vision started as a field for robotics, modern computer vision is heavily focused on internet data. Internet data consists of independent photos clicked by humans, which is very different from embodied data. Embodied data is not independent and it is based on the underlying physical world. Unlike internet images, embodied images are not centered around objects and consist of many partially visible and occluded objects from strange viewpoints. Due to this mismatch in data distribution, perception models trained using internet data are not effective at embodied tasks. Here I'm showing examples of false positives and negatives when using a mass car CNN trained on internet data and used for objectual navigation. On the left, the staircase is detected as a chair and on the right, the toilet is not recognized by the mass car CNN. So how do we train effective perception models for embodied agents? The approach of collecting a lot of images and labeling them tensely, which has been successful for internet computer vision, is not really feasible for embodied perception. This is because collecting embodied data requires embodied agents to be operating effectively in the physical world, but training these embodied agents requires a set of labeled embodied images to learn perception and move in the world, essentially creating a chicken and egg problem. This cyclic dependency of perception and action is widely known in psychology literature. In this paper, we propose a self-supervised framework for closing the action perception loop for training embodied agents. We train a self-supervised active exploration policy, which bootstraps on the internet perception models to explore the environment efficiently and collect relevant embodied images. These images are labeled in a self-supervised fashion using spatio-temporal 3D consistency and used to improve the perception model. Our framework is called Self-Supervised Embodied Active Learning, or SEAL, and consists of two phases, action and perception. During the action phase, we learn an active exploration policy, and during the perception phase, we train a perception model on the data gathered using the exploration policy. Both action and perception are learned in a completely self-supervised manner without requiring any ground truth semantic annotations or map information. A critical component for both the action and perception phases is a 3D semantic mapping module which builds a 3D semantic map from a sequence of agent observations. At each time step, a mask RCN and pre on internet images is used to get semantic predictions from the input RGB observation. The depth observation is used to compute an egocentric point cloud. Each point in this egocentric point cloud is associated with the corresponding semantic predictions. The egocentric point cloud is converted to a geocentric point cloud using geometric transformations based on the agent pose. This geocentric point cloud is then converted to a geocentric voxel representations using geometric projections. This voxel representation is aggregated over time using channel-wise max pooling to get the 3D semantic map. This is an example of the 3D semantic mapping module. The sequence of RGB images and the corresponding pre-trained mass Cassian predictions are shown on the left and the predicted 3D semantic map is shown on the right. Different colors in the 3D semantic map denote different semantic categories. The 3D semantic mapping module is used in both action and perception phases. The active exploration policy in SEAL needs to explore the environment to gather useful observations for learning perception. Ideally, we would like the agent to explore as many objects as possible with a highly confident prediction for each object from at least one viewpoint. We require at least one view with high confidence as the agent needs to learn in a self-supervised fashion. During the perception phase, we will see how a highly confident prediction from one viewpoint can be used to label other viewpoints using 3D consistency. We define an intrinsic motivation reward called gainful curiosity to train the active exploration policy to learn such behavior of maximizing exploration of objects with high confidence. We define a score threshold of 0.9 for confident predictions. The gainful curiosity reward is then defined to be the number of voxels in the 3D semantic map having greater than 0.9 score for at least one semantic category. This reward encourages the agent to find new objects and keep looking at the object from different viewpoints until it gets a highly confident prediction from at least one viewpoint. 
During the perception phase, the train exploration policy is used to sample trajectories in the training environment. For each trajectory, we build the 3D semantic map as we saw earlier. After labeling each voxel in the map, we find the set of connected voxels labeled with the same category to find object instances. The instance label for each pixel in each observation is then obtained by using ray tracing in the labeled 3D map based on the agent's pose. Pixel-wise instance labels are then used to obtain masks and bonding boxes for each instance. Note that this labeling process is completely self-supervised and does not require any human annotation. Here we see an example of the pre-trained mask CNN not detecting a couch and a chair, but the self-supervised labels obtained using SEAL contain these labels. This is because these objects were detected with high confidence in other observations in the trajectory. And here we see another example of the pre-trained mask CNN incorrectly detecting a chair, but the self-supervised labels obtained using SEAL are correct. The set of observations in the trajectory and the corresponding labels obtained using self-supervised 3D label propagation are then used to fine-tune the pre-trained mass Carsian. We use the Gibson dataset with the Habitat simulator for experiments consisting of 25 training and 5 test scenes. We train the exploration policy for 10 million frames and fine-tune the perception model on data collected by this policy for one trajectory per scene. Our objective is to maximize object detection and incident segmentation performance on unseen images in the test scene. We evaluate the SEAL framework in two settings. Generalization, where both the action and perception phases use only training scenes, and specialization, where we allow the active exploration policy to gather one episode of experience in each test scene. The SEAL framework outperforms different combinations of action and perception baselines in terms of object detection and instant segmentation performance. These results show that the SEAL framework can be used to improve pre-trained mass Cassian performance from roughly 35 and 33 AP50 scores to 40 and 36 AP50 scores by just allowing self-supervised exploration in training scenes. The performance can be further improved to 41 and 37 AP50 scores by allowing a single episode of self-supervised exploration in each test scene. We also show that the improved perception model obtained using the SEAL framework can in turn improve the downstream object goal navigation performance. We utilize the semantic exploration model for object goal navigation and simply replace the pre-trained mask CNN in, in this model with the SEAL improved perception model. The SEAL generalization model improves the success rate from 54% to 61% and the SEAL specialization model improves the success rate to 62%. The SEAL framework can also be used under the weak supervision setting where ground truth annotations are available for a few frames in each test environment. For each annotated frame, we can simply replace the pre-trained mass car CNN predictions with the ground truth annotations in the perception phase. SEAL improves the perception performance with just 5 to 10 annotations per scene, while naively fine-tuning the mass car CNN with these annotated examples does not improve the performance significantly. For more details, please visit the project webpage. Thank you for your attention. My name is Devendra and I am happy to answer questions over email.